Hello, this is Tov from Trifle Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can access bodies of water or ornamental elements that produce water like fountains easily in Blender through this add on. It's uh, not a free add on, you have to pay for it, but for the price, it's really not that bad. I think it's made for Blender 3.0, but I'm using 2.92 and it seems to work quite fine. And I'll leave a link of it uh, below this video so you can download yourselves and uh, check it out. But the process is still the same for installation into Blender. Once you've downloaded it onto your computer, go to Edit, Preferences. Uh, click on, on Install, navigate to where you've installed it on your system. Click on that folder or that file, zip folder probably. Click on Install Add-on. And once that's done, let me type it in. Aquatic, it's called Aquatic, the Aquatic add-on. Put a check in the box and it's activated. And that's pretty much it. And it's gonna be in your toolbar off to the right-hand side of your user interface in Blender. And it works in Cycles and in EV when it comes to rendering, but once again, Cycles is better, gives you better results. Even though EV is not too bad, but once again, the shadows are better in Cycles. Uh, let's delete this cube here. Let's go through what we, it has to offer here. It's got an assets uh, option here, which is where you'll find the uh, elements for uh, the fountains. Left click on that. You see it has uh, three categories. It has effects, fountains, and modular. The effects are like you have your uh, springs here, your jets, your splash options, body of, bodies of water, scroll down it's got a pretty good option when it comes to the effects and the other effects for the fountains now the fountains uh, to me they're exceptional i mean just the quality of the material when it comes to the fountains themselves that's also pretty impressive uh then it's also got the modular <coughs> excuse me which is like the effects also so you've got your uh, circular like waterfalls uh, springs of water, so on and so forth. Uh, and it, it has really good results. Now, one thing when it comes to bodies of water, which this eliminates and makes it a lot faster to render out, <clears throat> excuse me, is the fact that when you ever, whenever you make uh, or produce water in Blender, you have to put it inside of a cube because it's going to pretty much... Uh, be a mesh of a fluid simulation. This add-on eliminates all that, and I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. So we're gonna click on, uh, let's click on the effects first. And we're going to, let me see, let's choose something else, something that, okay, let's choose this jet vertical. You can use the aquatic collection or make it editable. You always keep these activated, because uh, this kind of saves on rendering. So click on OK. You can see it's just a panel. That's pretty much what it is. It's almost like it just projects a water simulation onto a plane. That and that saves you a lot of time when it comes to rendering. I'm going to click on the different viewport shading just so you can see what the jet looks like. Left click on that. You can see it's right there. Press play and there it goes. Now this saves on a lot of rendering time, a lot of rendering time, big time saves on processing power of the computer also. So that's an example of what I'm referring to when I, when I say it doesn't use water simulations. It, it almost uses like a, uh, a projection of water onto a plane. That's what it does, basically. Let's delete this and look at some other uh, aspects of it. Let's go to fountains, because that's the one I really, really like. And let's click on, let me see, uh, let's click on this one, the first one, click OK. And it doesn't take a long time to render out at all in terms of the viewport. Now it depends on, on your computer. If you have a pretty strong computer, it's going to render out a lot faster than, than a slow one, obviously. But just look at the detail and the concrete. Once again, press play. This might be a little bit slower. You can see the water is being simulated. And not only is it being simulated in terms of it pouring out of the top 
of each compartment here. You can see the ripples and the water as it hits the bottom of each section, which is impressive. And like I said before, uh, the viewport, when it comes to the material of the concrete on all the fountains is, is exceptional. Uh, let's turn it to EV so you can get a better idea of what I'm talking about here. And let's change our environment to more of a sky color, a light blue, and change our viewport again. And if you zoom in on that concrete, look at all the details and the concrete and all the fountains, they all look like this. And it renders up pretty fast. Now, another aspect of the uh, of this add-on, let me delete that, is the, it has an, a beach scene, <clears throat> excuse me, this scene right here that you can, uh, I really don't know why they have this in here, I guess so you can like mess around with the materials, but this kind of takes a long time to render out, um, I'm not going to activate it now, but you can click on that and see it come up uh, in, in your user interface, your viewport there. And the last part of it, or second to the last part of it, is uh, when you, it's kind of strange with this, because I'm going to, let me just activate this so you can see what it, what it looks like to some extent, so I can show you the next next part of, uh, of the add-on here. Now you can see that there's a beach scene here. It's got some trees. And when you click on the ocean, it activates uh, this small material. And you left click on that and it gives you different options of water. And I thought you could apply all these different options of water to any mesh material in Blender. And it doesn't work like that. You have to apply it to this beach scene, the water in the beach scene. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Let me click on Frosted and you'll, we'll see if this works. Let's click on OK. Oh, that works. See, that one worked at that point in time, but let's try another one. Let's click on Pond. Now it gives, it gives us a warning, material limitations warning. And what is that warning? Object has to have volume for its, for its material to work correctly. Okay, so I guess that's not gonna work. Let's click on it and see if it works. And the warning, yeah, that's not gonna work. So some of these uh, materials will work with the ocean material and some won't uh, but I guess it is what it is and then the last thing that I want to show you guys when it comes to this add-on let me select all of that and delete this is that with some of the I guess this with all of them if we spawn the spawn an effect here let's choose that one and click OK let me zoom out. Do we have, is it going to show us where that is? Is it just going to disappear? Well, that's kind of strange. It just, let me open up a new scene here because I just made that completely disappear. I mean, we've clicked on spawn asset, but nothing came up. It is very, very strange. Sometimes with these add-ons, you have to just start with a new scene just in general, just to avoid uh, things like this. Let's go, let's go to the file. Is it gonna did it freeze up? Okay, it's still active. Okay. Uh, don't save. Delete the cube again. Let's go back to the add-on. Uh, let me see. One, two, three, four, five. I think that's it. Is that it? There, there it is. Let's go to that again. Let's click on OK. Now with some, I think it's with all of the uh, assets. You can actually edit, edit uh, the mesh or edit the water. If you click, if you have that asset imported into your scene, you click on Paint Alpha Mask. You can actually paint in here. You might have to increase the strength, but you can paint. Oh, it's already at one at one. You can. Oh, there it is. You can paint in here. And actually, get rid of some of the water to have it give it a certain look. Now that's optional, but for me, they all seem to work pretty well. So we're painting, we're deleting, we're adding an alpha mask to the bottom of our water here to get rid of the bottom part. Maybe to have it feather out sooner than later. 
as you can see as we paint with our mouse it's starting to delete the water at the bottom yeah and then that's pretty much it return back to uh what it was before now you have the bottom part feathered out so yeah it's a pretty good add-on this is not uh, that bad at all i wouldn't for me personally i wouldn't make any kind of changes or edits to it as it is because it works fine the way it is and it's compared to an actual water simulation this works great so yeah that's today's blender quick tip importing bodies of water or fountains into blender using the uh, aquatic add-on once again thank you guys to who have been watching the videos that we've been putting out really appreciate that um and thank you guys once again for your subscriptions because that's helped the channel grow quite a bit and i thank you guys for that also and thank you guys who are, have subscribed in the past those of you who are subscribing now and those of you who are subscribing in the future i'll see you guys on the next one All right adios